In Chinese culture, hair and hairstyles have a high symbolic importance. For instance, uh, married women wore a bun to show their status and the quantity and quality of hairpins that were used do tell us about the status of the person that were using them. With time and with the succession of Chinese dynasties, we see a constant evolution of the headdress and the ornaments that were used. Because it is impossible to create all these complex hairstyles with hair alone, sometimes inserts uh, were needed. During the Yuan dynasty, there was this fashion of the bag bun, sort of tissue bag that were holding this bun, called the baoji. Under the Ming dynasty, between the 14th and 17th century, an artificial bun was created. This bun is called the diji. Some buns were made of gold or silver wires. These structures were often combined with ornaments that were put in very precise places and every hairpin and every ornament had a different name according to its position and function on the bun. There was a single hairpin placed vertically in the middle of the chignon called the dingzan. Then we will have another on the upper part in the front called the tiaoxin, another one the central part in the front called the fenxin and another arched hairpin placed horizontally in the front called the huadian. Laterally, we will have two different hairpins called the yanbin, and in the back, a decorative hairpin called uh, the manguan. This manguan shows a very detailed technique made with hammering, probably with a repoussé technique, which means working a sheet of gold from the back in order to create almost a three-dimensional effect. This scene is taken from a drama of the previous dynasty, so from the Yuan dynasty, but refers to an even older dynasty, which is the Tang dynasty, and shows four horsemen in front of a palace. So the title of this drama was Four Horsemen Surrender or Join the Tang dynasty and is a reference to the beginning of the Tang dynasty and of alliances of that period. So it's quite rare to have human figures compared to the large quantity of flowers, birds, dragons, phoenixes and auspicious objects. The Manguan is representative of the Ming dynasty and will gradually decline and be replaced by other kind of hair decorations in the following dynasty, the Qing dynasty, that will bring novelties in the hairstyle and hair ornaments.